The main functions of the digestive system are the digestion of food, the absorption of nutrients, the elimination of indigestible material, and providing a barrier against potential pathogens, which may cause disease. The digestive system consists of a digestive tube and a number of key organs. Digestion begins in the mouth, where mastication, or chewing, and the mixing of food with saliva takes place. Chewing food breaks it down into smaller pieces, whilst saliva lubricates food, assisting in the act of swallowing. It is in the mouth where the digestive enzyme, amylase, is released, which initiates the digestion of carbohydrates. When you swallow, food moves into the esophagus, where continual waves of involuntary contraction push the food into the stomach. When food enters the stomach, its presence initiates the release of gastrin, which in turn releases gastric juices. Food leaving the stomach, now known as chyme, enters the small intestine. The small intestine consists of three regions, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. It is the small intestine where the majority of the digestive process takes place. Food enters the small intestine via the duodenum in a timely and controlled fashion. This is because when food enters the duodenum, the gallbladder and pancreas are stimulated, resulting in the release of pancreatic enzymes and bile. Bile breaks fats down into smaller pieces, known as emulsification, ensuring optimal conditions for lipase to digest fats. In the small intestine, special cells known as enterocytes assist in the digestion and absorption of food along with immune defense. From here, food is passed onto the large intestine where the absorption of food and water is completed and feces are formed. Feces are passed into the colon where they are excreted from the body. Learn more at teachpe.com and don't forget to like and share.